to get a marbled effect on a bottle. Uh, for that, we'll be needing any old magazine that you have because we need the glossy paper which the magazine has. So we'll tear a few pages from the magazine. I've already done so. And now we're going to tear the pages. Now while tearing the pages, we just need to remember that we, we don't need a neat finish like this. We need this white edge. For that, if you don't have this, you just take the paper and just tear it like this so that you get a white edge like this. I'll tell you the reason later. And so this is how we'll keep tearing and we'll get a lot of pieces like this are uh, which are torn and for this uh, we will we don't want too much glue on the paper so what we're going to do is we're going to take glue this is one portion of glue to one portion of water I've mixed it up well so I'll use the paper here and I'll apply the glue outside and then stick it to the bottle like this whichever way you want over it so that you get a nice pattern make sure that it is all covered there is no space left in between so this is how you're going to stick the paper we don't want too much glue on the papers So this is how we're going to stick it all over. I've already pasted on both the bottles. Here I've used multicolor uh, on this bottle and here I've used more of black and white. In fact, I need to remove the color of this printed paper and for that I'll be using uh, uh, this uh, uh, thinner which I got from the hardware shop. You can also use a, a nail polish remover which has high content of acetone in it. Be using this thinner on any soft cloth that you have and just apply take a lot of uh, and start rubbing on the paper so you'll see that all the color starts coming off now you can leave it where you want like if you want it, want the look to be like this you can leave it here the more you rub the more color will come out so i want it a little more lighter so i'll rub a little more i like this look so i leave it here so I'll do this for the entire bottle. So I like it here and at this look. So I leave it here. And for this bottle, I like it till here so I leave it here so this is how you will get the look now if you use a single color like black you will get a blackish look and if you use a multicolor you will get different colors here and in case like here I've done if you want just a blue look so if you use this just blue color you will get a blue uh, effect 
So it all depends on which color you are choosing. So if you're using blue, it will look something like this. Like this. And if you are using red all together, it will look something like this. So you can leave it where you want. If you want it a little darker, you can leave it here. If you wanted more light, you can keep rubbing, rubbing till, you, till you get the desired result. Like this. So you can choose the color whichever you want. You can use a multicolor, you can use black, white, you can use blue, you can use red, you can use yellow, whichever you want. How it's going to look after we remove the color. So this is the printed paper which I used on this bottle and here I used black so I get a blackish look on this and here I'm getting a colored look and if I use blue I'll get a bluish look. If I get a, a put red, it'll give a reddish look. So this is the reason when we now here all the color will get collected when we tear the page. So that is why if we tear the page and get this white look, white piece here, a part here, the color will get collected in this white piece. So it'll give a very lovely effect. So if it's less, it'll give a less effect. If you keep this more, it'll give a better effect. To remove the color so we use less of fevicol on the paper so that's why we do it outside and we put the paste the paper on the bottom. We use uh, this Mod Podge uh, gloss uh, to seal give it a very lovely shine so I'll use my flat brush again So I'll use this all over the bottle, allow it to dry. Use this varnish. You can go outside and you can use this spray on the bottle. It'll give a beautiful gloss shine on this. The bottle is ready. So I'll just put a charm around this. For here, in this one, I've used the cap. And in this, I don't have the cap. I'll just put the jute uh, rope around it. And I had some beads. So I'll just put it around the bottle. So this is how the bottles are going to look. So this is what I wanted to show you today. I hope you liked my video. Uh, do tune in again. I'll come back with another interesting video till then. Bye bye. Take care and I love you all.